Hi, my name is Dr. Kate Bieberdorf, also known as Kate the Chemist. I travel across the United States and blow stuff up for kids, trying to prove that science is awesome and amazing, but I'm also the author of The Big Book of Experiments and Dragons vs. Unicorns. Today we are making a bubble snake. What we do for that is we exhale into bubbles and actually trap our bubbles into a beautiful long snake. What you need for this experiment is a clear plastic water bottle, you need a quarter cup of dish soap, you need some rubber bands, something to cut with, so scissors, precision knife, anything will work like that. Uh, food coloring, you need a bowl, a thin towel, and a half a cup of water. In order to do this experiment safely, you need safety goggles. And because we're going to be using scissors and a knife, make sure you have an adult available. So let's get started. First thing we need to do is build our apparatus. So you're going to take the lid off of your plastic bottle, and then you're going to use your scissors or your knife to actually cut that in. So you're gonna stab in here and very slowly cut the bottom off of your water bottle. You don't need it to have like a perfect edge or anything like that. It can be kind of broken. You just need to make sure that you have half of a water bottle, that's it. Then what we're going to do is take the thin towel and we're going to very carefully place it over the top of the water bottle. So just like this, make sure it's a nice tight seal here. Then grab any of the rubber bands and put it right around here. I like to double wrap like this, but you do you, whatever works. Then you're gonna put your apparatus to the side just for a second so we can prep our water. So in here, you need to add two things. You need to add your water and your dish soap. And then the last thing you need to do with this solution right here is give it a little swirl to make sure that our dish soap is nice and bubbly in there so that we can get the best bubble snake possible. Swirl, 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 that looks good. Once we're ready here, you can pick your bottle back up and you use your food coloring. I highly recommend the lighter colors, so your yellows, your reds, those look best for the bubble snake. And then I would also recommend that you do some kind of pattern. So I really like stripes when I do this one. And the more food coloring you use, the brighter it's going to be, the better snake you're going to have. So dunk it in like this. Don't worry if you get food coloring into your bubble bowl right here, that happens all the time. Do not worry. Okay, so we've got some red. We're gonna do it again with yellow. Fill in the holes here. Oh, this is gonna be a good one. Yes, lots of color, lots of color. But you wanna make sure that you have the entire thing covered as much as possible, so a full thing of color. Once you're good, take the bottom of it, upside down invert it, dunk it into the bubbles, and then bring it out. And then the best part, you gotta blow. And that's your bubble snake. All right, so this is one amazing bubble snake. What we did is we exhaled all these gases, nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide coming right out of our mouth. And what happens is the bubble solution right there traps the gas and we end up with this amazing bubble snake. Thank you so much for watching. If you wanna do more fun experiments, please check out the big book of experiments.